Hi everyone, um, I've had a few people asking me when it came to the physics tutorial and the platformer um, how they could have a character instead of a ball rolling around on the screen. So I'm going to show you that today and hopefully that should stop any of those questions. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is create your sprites. So I've got this sprite here, this is my character. And that is a 21 by 29 sprite. Um, started off as 32 by 32, except when I draw it um, cropped down. But yeah, sizing doesn't matter all that much in this. Okay, then we've got the ground sprite, which is a 32 by 32 block. Again, sizing doesn't matter all that much, so you can use pretty much any size you want. Okay. Um, I'll just quickly show you the room. Uh, in settings, uh, speed is set to 60 instead of 30. Uh, physics, um, room is physics world and gravity is 60. Uh, gravity doesn't matter all that much except it will affect the values when it comes to jumping and moving. Okay, now normally in most of my um, tutorials when it comes to physics I use two objects for the parents I use dynamic parent and static parent in this it solves a few problems to just use the um, one object as a physics parent so in this it's just a collision event with itself and just in there it's just the word collision commented out Okay, so um, one of the problems that that solves is when it comes to jumping, you might want to be able to jump off both dynamic and static objects. Doing it this way allows you to just check for one object when it comes to the jumping code and makes things a lot simpler. Okay, so now for our object ground, which is our first physical object, we have uses physics, it is parented to the physics parent. The collision shape is box. Just open that up for you. Okay, and the density is zero to make sure that it is static. And that's all for the ground. Okay, then the box. Now this box is just for testing purposes so that you can see how your player reacts to other objects in the physics world. Okay, so it uses physics. It is parented to the physics parent. It's collision shape is box as well, and because I was lazy, I just used the same sprite for this, and uh, the density is 0 0.5. So it's pretty much the same as the ground object, except the density is 0 0.5 instead of 0. Okay, and now our player. Okay, it uses physics. It doesn't have a parent. Okay, we are handling the collisions ourselves in this by just checking for a collision event with the physics parent. And again, just having the word collision in there. Okay. Then for the step, actually, now we'll go to create event. Delete. No, we got to show the shape first. Okay, so um, collision shape is set to shape instead of box. If I click modify collision shape, it'll zoom in a bit on that for you. You can see I've just roughly outlined my character sprite there. Okay, and then density is 0 0.5, and that's fine for that. Okay, now in our create event, we have PHY rotation equals 0, which is setting our um, physic, physical rotation to 0, so no rotation at all, and then PHY fixed rotation equals true. This variable here tells our game that we want this object to have like to not be able to rotate in the physics world. So everything will still react to it, so forces and everything will be the same except it can't rotate. Okay, and then we have SPD which stands for speed equals 100 and JMP which stands for jump to 100. And those basically just force values there. Okay, and right, left and jump, those are our keyboard controls, so right equals VK right left equals VK left and jump equals VK up. Okay, now go to step event. If keyboard check right, uh, physics apply force X, Y, 
speed on the X Force and zero for the Y Force. Then you can pretty much just copy and paste all that and paste it in just there, and then just change right to left and speed to minus speed. So that way, instead of going um, right, we're going to be going left with a negative speed value. Okay, if keyboard check pressed jump and physics test overlap X, Y plus 1, 0, object physics parent. So that's our um, physics parent which represents pretty much every physical object in the game except the player. Okay, um, Y plus 1 means we're going to be checking one place below us. So 1 pixel below our player object to make sure that we're on the ground because you don't want to be able to jump if you're not on the ground. Okay, physics apply impulse x, y, uh, 0 for x impulse and minus jump for y impulse. Now, the difference between physics apply force and physics apply impulse. Uh, you can pretty much imagine it like this. With physics apply force, let's say you're pushing a heavy box. So obviously, heavy enough that you could actually move it, but not light enough, so it's like really easy to push. So when you're first starting off, like getting it going, it's going to be like kind of hard to push it and like really get it going. But then as you get it going, like you kind of speed up because it's already got that force, so you're adding force to it. So like you start off slow and then just kind of accelerate. Or maybe a bit like a car moving. So like you start off slow, but you slowly get faster. Okay, so that's for physics supply force. When it comes to physics supply impulse, instead of like pushing it and like having to put in all that effort to get it going, physics supply impulse is like, I guess like throwing a tennis ball or something. It's like a really instant like force, I guess. So when you throw a tennis ball, it's pretty much going the speed straight away, which is like it is in impulse. Like you're pretty much just making it go. Maybe a bit like shooting a gun, just like really instant. And um, depending on the value you apply to it, depends on how far it goes. But yeah, ho hopefully you see what I mean by that. Um. Anyway, if mouse check button released and be left instance create mouse x mouse y object box. So all that is is creating our box object at mouse X and mouse Y when you left click. And that's again just for testing reasons, you don't really need that in your actual game. Okay, um and that's it. So you go to your room, as I showed you before, physics is set to true, gravity is sixty and the room speed is sixty as well. Just kinda lay out a floor as I've done here with your ground objects and throw your player in and then that's it. I guess you can put a few object boxes in there as well if you want but we've got a create event for that when you left click anyway so it's not necessary. Okay so save your game if you want and uh, hit run. And there you go so you saw the player fall to the ground there if I hit up it jumps, hit right, move right and hit left, you move left. Okay, now drop a few boxes in there. So as you can see, when I hit to the left of the player, the player got like kind of bounced right. That's because of the physics. So as you can see, all the forces and stuff apply to the object, but it can't rotate. Yeah, so if I like kind of bury him under a few boxes here, I can still like kind of jump up through there. Um, something that this can be helpful with is when it comes to pushing boxes in games if you've ever had trouble doing that so you can just run into it and push it. And that's just because of the physics. But yeah. So you can jump up on those, still jump when it comes to touching those. And yeah, that's how it's done. Okay, uh, like this video. Um, lets me know that you guys like the videos and want more. Uh, subscribe to me if you want. Um, I've got a Facebook page. Uh, if you could like that, that'd be pretty great, but you know, it's up to you. Um, yeah, so I hope this helped you out. If you have any further questions, let me know. If you have any suggestions for future tutorials, please send me an inbox. 
for those of you that don't know, to send an inbox, go to the, um, actually no, it's new with the new Google layout. Okay, I can't tell you how, guys how to do that because I don't even know anymore because of the new Google profile layout. But, um, yeah, for those of you that do know how to do it, send me an inbox. Otherwise, I guess you just leave me a comment with your suggestion. I'll make a list of them so don't think you're being ignored. I've got a bit of a list now. But yeah, hope this helped you out, and I'll see you guys next time.